Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to this afternoon's iPro Network e-commerce training. My name is Mario Delgadillo. I'm very blessed to be able to be here with you this afternoon. Uh, the reason I'm so excited is because we actually have the opportunity to be blessed with a, a featured speaker this e uh, this afternoon. Uh, Mr. Neil Twa is actually co-owner of Ecom Pro Academy. This gentleman is actually co-owner of the company that actually uh, gets us and has created and trained so many people in the e-commerce space and the uh, packages that we sell, the products that we sell within the iPro network are actually uh, something that he has actually created and put together. So there's no one better than him to be able to teach us about how we should be speaking to this, to the marketplace. And so uh, initially I just came out and asked him. He's such a great guy. Uh, my wife and I had a pleasure of, of having dinner with, with his wife, Katie, and himself the other night uh, during our event. And we just, uh, were, just hit it off. And I asked him if he would be good enough to to uh, do this training for our, for our team, and so he was really awesome and said yes, we do it. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to pass it over to Mr. Neil Twal. Neil, are you there? I am loud and clear, hopefully. So <laughs> check, make sure you hear me. Um, if you can hear me, let's uh, put a one in the chat box. Make sure I'm coming in loud and clear for you guys. There we are, coming in. All right, good, very good. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and hit record on this so we can make sure we get everybody on there. And I'm going to make sure I can get my screen shared here in just a second. I'm going to have you all reconfirm. Thank you for that. It was very uh, nice meeting both you and your wife, Stephanie. Uh, we had such a fun time there in Costa Mesa with everybody. Um, just enjoying the company and uh, sorry for those who couldn't make it. And for those of you who did, um, hopefully you had the wonderful uh, experience that we got to have. Um, let's make sure we show the screen. All right, so the screen should be going loud and clear. Everybody says loud and clear. Uh, I'm showing my screen now, so hopefully you can all see my screen. Um, Mario, I'm not sure if you can see my screen, but let's make sure everybody's uh, hearing me and seeing the screen. Looks like it's happening. All right. Excellent. Very good. All right. So where is everybody from? This is always fun for me. I always love to know where people are hanging out from. So just real quick. While we get up and going here, put in, um, you know, country, um, if you want to put in, you know, city and state or something like that. Let me hear where you guys are all from. It's always fun to find out where you're from. We got Florida, Texas, Montana, Utah, California, Washington State, all over the place. Fantastic. North Carolina. I love that place. Hi, Sandra. Fort Lauderdale. Love that, too. Had an event there a few years ago and fell in love with Fort Lauderdale. Chicago, Atlanta, all over the place. Very cool. Toronto, all right. We got somebody from outside the country here. Very cool. Gulf Shores, New York, Long Beach. All right, Georgia, excellent. All right, so for everybody who's joined today from all over the place and obviously all over the world, um, I want to thank you for taking some time out of your busy day here to sit with me for a minute and talk a little bit about what we're doing here with the iPro Network in the training. Now, this is something that I covered uh, at the event here uh, just about two weekends ago. Uh, time's flying very fast. Got to stop and think because we're moving pretty quick. But um, I did want to get a chance to talk and when I had the opportunity to um, tell you a little bit more about what we're doing here and share some of this and, and make sure everybody got a chance to to see it. I jumped at the chance to talk to you good people about what we're doing here and what is available. So I want to kind of go over and kind of introduce you uh, to the e-commerce family of products that is part of the iPro network. Uh, for those of you who may have heard some of this, great. I'm going to try to get a little bit more detail into it. For those of you who haven't, um, I do want to go ahead and give you the opportunity to hear a little bit more. So let me shut down some additional applications and stuff going on here in the background, make sure that um, nothing is going to distract. Uh, I just noticed I had a couple extra things open here. Where are they at? All right, let's quit some of these things. Yeah, let's make sure nobody needs to know what's going on with the calendar there. So let's close that down and we're going to do that too. All right. So let's talk about these and talk about these in a little bit more detail. I'm actually going to show you uh, the products themselves. So I'm going to show you what they're about. Um, if you guys ask questions here along the way, I will try to um, talk a little bit about that as well. All right. So starting out from left to right, we have different types of product opportunities for different types of folks. Um, that is going to be really kind of an aptitude thing. It's really what you're interested in doing because e-commerce is so broad in its opportunity uh, that that's why we have all of these different products and softwares. Um, it's from people who are interested in selling physical products, digital products through e-commerce, 
combinations of those products or even software. Uh, so that's some of the stuff we're gonna share here with you guys. So I wanna kinda uh, make sure that we get through all this. I'm gonna widen this screen out here just a little bit this to make sure that no one's missing anything. All right, I thought that's supposed to be on quiet. Make sure all of my stuff is shut down. Make sure all your stuff is shut down. <laughs> so you guys all pay attention. I'm trying to close down all these messages windows so no one else is uh, being distracted, right? Um, all right, so we are talking about the different kinds of products from beginning to end. So Ecom Product Blueprint is really geared at those who are interested in learning how to do arbitrage. Now that is in essence buying low and selling high. You know the concept, you may have done it in some instance, you may have done it um, through selling products you have, you may have done it through selling other people's products, you may have found something at a garage sale or an antique site or whatever, and you may have sold it on Craigslist. Um, you may have bought a car you turned around and sold for you know a couple thousand more than you purchased it. That's all arbitrage, right? So what Econ Product Blueprint does is it teaches you how to do it in an online format. Now, once you're logged in to the back office, there is a membership training site here uh, where you are able to actually log in and get access to the training. There's a great introduction video that kind of walks you through here. And then there are 80 plus videos that are gonna take you through the different areas. It's basically gonna, gonna introduce you on how to start this, okay? The question, where do I start, gets answered in these videos. And you wanna pay attention to those so you can kind of understand what is going on in this training. And then we're gonna tell you about putting physical products on autopilot, all right? So in that essence, some of the done for you stuff we talked about in here, uh, some of the steps for fulfillment, okay? Now, this training is considered a VIP training and it gives you access to everything uh, that's in it, all access to all modules, uh, all of the content available. You'll be able to go through our different webinar trainings uh, and you're able to see exactly some of the uh, topics here about running physical pres uh, presence, updating, um, getting stuck in growth strategies, the whole retail arbitrage model uh, of going in here, how to invest, how to get going, where to find products, what to look at for potential profits. Here's some of the mistakes you shouldn't make. And this gets very detailed. A lot of good content, okay? We've had thousands of people come through this um, and having great success making just some making full-time income, some making side incomes um, to just add in to their um, whole opportunity for whatever it is they're doing in their life, right? Um, we've got retired couples. I had We have young people. We have stay-at-home moms, right, who are able to do this. Uh, if you do have an interest in understanding some of the product opportunities, you can click on the live chat. Um, we do have some what are called lots, um, not always available, but we do at times from the warehouse in Utah. Um, through our vendor relationship, you have the ability to look at some of the products if you don't come up with products of your own. So that's where that section actually goes through and you, you connect with the live chat and they can tell you or connect you with the warehouse and get you that opportunity as well. And then we go in depth through the Amazon training. This is cool, right? So this is where you get into moving physical products in a virtual setting. Now, what does that mean? It means that, for example, I could go to walmart.com I could find a physical product they're selling for $5.95, right? I could go over to eBay or I could go to Amazon and I could sell that same product for maybe $10, $12, $15 on those other networks. So on those other marketplaces. And so what I can do is I can arbitrage those products. So I could take the lower selling Walmart product, I can sell it on another marketplace. When someone purchases it from eBay, then I can ship it from Walmart to the person who purchased it. And I basically become the middleman moving product across platforms. We teach you how to do that and how to scale that, okay? So that's where the training goes through here and teaching you how to build that blueprint, okay? Teaches you how to actually go through eBay, uh, understand how to set up a good account and actually utilize the account successfully to do your selling. Uh, there's a lot of details in here, folks. It gives you all, of the common mistakes, all of the gotchas, things we learn. There is all the information you need to be successful with this type of model. And then finally, we've got any you know frequently asked questions uh, about the actual training itself, about expectations, about you know even setting up some business stuff is all ca uh, captured within that training. So very comprehensive and a lot of information to get you really in depth with arbitrage at the ecom product blueprint level. Okay. 
So hopefully that will give you some good opportunity as to what that particular product is doing. Um, again, over a hundred videos showing you the power and the steps of moving through that, okay? So then if you wanna move to the private label side, that's where the Econ Pro Academy comes in. Now, private label, for those of you who, who know, it means that you are creating a brand that you own. And in that brand could be multiple different kinds of products, okay? For example, Nike is a brand and they have 100 plus different variations and shoes in their brand and that's considered a private label. You can create a private label. We've created multiple private labels and companies that support private label products where we have branded those products, we have created multiple products inside of that brand and we've been selling them across multiple marketplaces. The Econ Pro Academy with the Amazon Live Training teaches you how to build a brand in Amazon. So how many of you are aware that you can actually sell products on Amazon? Give me a yes in the screen here on the question side. If you are aware that you could actually sell products in Amazon. Awesome, quite a few of you are recognizing that. Some of you are not, but that's cool. So the question then becomes, well, how do I do that? And the answer is, it's actually not as complicated as you think. Of course, it has some complexity like most things, but it's not rocket science at the end of the day. And we teach you all the different fundamental pieces of that. And there are a couple of different things we do in here. There are the Amazon training portion itself, which has a very detailed level of training, uh, over eight sessions being taught um, by our coaches and by us to show you how to actually start building a private label business using Amazon's ecosystem, which is extremely cool because you, you use and leverage the power and authority of Amazon, which is enormous. And I know that there are many of you on this call who have bought something from Amazon, right? And your prime members, I'm sure of it, right? Um, we have subscribe and say we buy all kinds of stuff. And I was jokingly talking about this at the event about how many diapers I've spent with my family in the years. I don't know if Mario, you were remembering that from the event and paid attention, but we had like over seventy thousand uh, dollars in diapers. And I know you got a lot of kids too, dude. So I'm sure um, you uh, have also spent a lot of money on diapers, and we spent a lot of money on Amazon with diapers. So now I don't sell private label diapers, just so we're clear. Uh, I could have done that a long time ago, I suppose, but uh, that's a huge market. So the training itself goes through eight different modules, taking you from the beginners to the advanced understanding of how to build a business from start to private label. And that gives you the ability to understand how to source it, where to source the products, examples of how to source, the logistics of sourcing, because some of that may sound big and hairy in terms of its um, opportunity, in terms of what you can do. But at the end of the day, once you do the process and you understand how it works and you follow along with the training, uh, it is not, you know, again, rocket science, but there's a process to understanding how it works. And we walk you through each session about building your private label empire, okay? And all of these sessions were done here just recently, so the content is completely up to date, teaching you everything you need to know about building your Amazon business successfully. Now, I've had um, over 500 people go through that training course. Uh, many of them have gone on to build private label empires. Even a number of them did so well, they started their own training courses on how to do it because they were doing so successful, they wanted to give back and train to other people. So there is a lot of money to be made in private label. Amazon is a great starting and validation point for products, and then you can take them even farther out. Now, uh, at the time we're talking here, Amazon has just recently purchased Whole Foods. Uh, and so as we think forward and we watch what's happening trends wise, we could see them moving products from Amazon backwards into the Whole Foods channel, uh, offering a lot of other retail opportunities that weren't there previously um, through that network. And frankly, Amazon is just gonna take over the world as far as I'm concerned and the way they're going, we may have to work out on a monopoly situation here soon with them. So just recently we had the summit uh, for training on Ecom Pro Academy here back in October of last year. Uh, and we had some of the biggest names in the e-commerce industry. Some you may not be familiar with, but if you're around the industry, you may be familiar with it. I definitely know that a lot of you know Kevin Harrington, um, who had come and sponsored uh, part of our uh, training. He had a little Shark Tank thing we did, which was awesome. Um, but we've got some of the biggest names in e-commerce on here. Uh, the first day was about information. The second day was more training. 
Um, we've got the people from Viral Style here. We've got the Pixel Whisperer for Facebook traffic. We've got uh, the lady who does just about the best email marketing in the world. Um, we've got an ex-con who turned into an e-com expert and makes $5 million a year. <laughs> he got out of prison, started learning how to do e-commerce. Just a fantastic, down-to-earth, wonderful man, a uh, family man, and, and has turned his life around through the power of e-commerce. And then we've got Josh Kent, who is a founder of Sunfrog. Um, he was able to generate $100 million in sales in his first year in e-commerce under uh, the Sunfrog Shirts brand, which is absolutely cool. And then day three, we actually get into a bunch of workshop training that you get access to uh, that teaches you how to build an e-commerce uh, private label business using jewelry. Now, jewelry is an enormous opportunity uh, to sell online. It is a physical product. Uh, and you're able to go in and see and learn exactly what they did in all the detail from setting it up to uh, watching it be configured to doing it yourself through the walk-alongs that teach you basically how to go through at an advanced level of setting up a what's called Shopify store, which is an e-commerce store. I'll tell you about that in a little more in a second. Uh, and it, being able to take traffic from Facebook, okay, not just for the purpose of sharing animal pictures and watching cat meme videos, but actually being able to put ads on Facebook and accessing the 2 billion people that show up a day on Facebook and being able to get them to buy your products. Okay, very cool stuff. It starts with the jewelry and ends here on day three with you understanding how to basically build a drop ship business using custom jewelry that you design and you sell on Facebook. It's really a cool program uh, and there's a lot a lot of people have had a lot of success selling that jewelry in there, okay? So, the next one is software, all right? Software is huge online. Software does a lot of different things. In this instance, we have a software called ASIN Inspector. It is a, what's called a software as a service. So, once upon a time, we used to take data from a lot of different locations within Amazon and others and we used to compile that data from pricing to reviews to comparative products. We tackled about 50 to 100 different data points in which I had uh, virtual assistants, people who worked for me all over the world, compiling this data and pulling it together. Well, it's a lot of data, especially when you're in the research market, okay? And when you're trying to determine good selling products. And it is also difficult at times to disseminate what is a good selling point, what's a good product feature, what's a comparable, what are other ideas that I can source. And that was part of what we had trained our virtual assistants to do. Well, as we continue to grow and grow and grow, this became a little bit more difficult. So what we did is we invented a software called ASIN Inspector to basically do that process in minutes to seconds, what used to take hours to days, right? We just got big enough that we needed to do this. So we created this tool and we shared it, and now we have about 15,000 customers that use this tool on a daily basis to help basically power their product sourcing. So let's say we're gonna be searching for pet supplies on Amazon as a product potential that we might sell in some capacity, whether it's through Amazon, whether we sell it on our own website, whether we sell it on Shopify, whether we put it up on eBay. It's a product we wanna sell. Now, it would have taken hours to days to go through and compile all this different types of information to help me understand the opportunity of a product for pet supplies, okay? So let's just come in here for a second and we're gonna do a pet supply. So we're gonna do, I don't know, dog bones, dog bones, okay. Lots of different dog bones. Let's say I wanna look for a dog treat. I wanna sell a dog bone, dog treat, okay. So we're looking through here, right? Amazon's got tons of results, 400 pages with 17 different listings on each page. Um, by the way, just in case you're not aware, there are over 450 million product opportunities on Amazon. Uh, there are just so many, so many. And that means opportunity, just in case you're aware. That means opportunity. So we have these products and we're saying, what is it that we wanna sell? Well, with the tool where basically ASIN is able to go out, compile that result, come back in a matter of, of seconds, and return all of this data at a glance. This is extremely powerful, because remember, this used to take days to, uh, to get back from different VAs. So it's able to go out there through the power of our servers, um, pull in information, and I can quickly see, all right, there's a product that's making over 16,000 a month. There's a product making over 21,000 a month. All right, we got some decent product opportunities here to take a look at, right? And this is what's really cool. So let's say 
okay, this product, uh, where to go? 21,000, what are they selling? They're selling a chew bone, a bacon flavored chew bone. Oh my gosh, like bacon flavored everything, man, from ice cream to all kinds of stuff these days. So we can actually see that it's moving uh, a good amount of units. It's estimated sales a month. There are about 1,800 units are being moved, uh, generating about $21,000 in revenue. It does have a lot of reviews. It's got a decent rating. We would normally say anything above 4.5 is gonna have a really good rating, okay? It's a product that's really liked. This is really liked. Uh, this one at 4.7 is really liked, meaning that people are leaving good reviews. Uh, we're gonna look over and see what kind of price points people have got on them. You know, 11.95 is a bit low for this kind of product. We typically want you to sell something on the $15, $25 or more in order to be able to process the fees uh, that Amazon gives you because right here, Amazon is gonna take some money to help you sell. And as I hover over this, you can see what the estimated fees are gonna cost for me to sell that product, okay, on Amazon. And then we got a number of actions. I don't wanna go through all these because this is a lot, but I just basically wanna cover the ideas real quick that you can go to multiple places in a glance and source this product in a drop ship model before you move it to a private label. So you can quickly go to places like AliExpress and Alibaba, which are two uh, big sourcers of products. For those of you who are not familiar, uh, AliExpress can give you, you know, one unit, two unit kind of deal. Uh, and they could be shipped sometimes from the US, but a lot of times from China or overseas. And Alibaba is gonna be a little bit bigger quantities. They're gonna have what's usually called an MOQ or a minimum order quantity meaning you've got to buy at least a couple hundred or more units before they're gonna ship it to you. And that's where you would a lot of times go to get your private label products. But as you can see at a glance, we can jump and determine this product at any one of those locations. Um, I'm not gonna again go through all this because there's a lot of data, but at a glance, there's a lot of different data from you know net payout options uh, to comparing with your competitors to seeing what kind of keywords are selling on Amazon to what other products are they buying together? Here's one real quick that can kind of help you out. Um, we're gonna look real quick and see what are the other products that they're buying with this? Um, it looks like it maybe they're not buying any other products, they're buying just that one, cool. So we can look over here and we can see the different variations, which means colors, sizes, shapes, textures, those are all variations. Or we can check and see, okay, who's selling and how many do they have on hand? So could I compete? with this product and the sellers that are on it and how many do they actually have. So right there at a glance, guys, you don't realize how much time it used to take for us to compile that data and right there, I can get it at a glance, right? Boom, just right in front of me. A lot of good analytical data and you can see this goes on. And if I wanna get more data, you know, I can just pump this thing up to, you know, 40 pages or more and it's gonna pull down just result after result after result. So much data, I can export it into whatever format I wanna export, take that data, manipulate it somewhere else. Um, I can plug in my own numbers on the Amazon done for you. Say I've got a whole list of SKUs and I wanna check it. Well, you send it over here, our servers compile it all and then emails you a report. Pretty cool stuff, right? So there's just so much this tool has done to help us find products, look for products, go wide on products, come up with new ideas that we've never thought about before. And so as part of this IPRO network, ASIN Inspector is one of the opportunities you have, right? With sourcing products. It's a tool you can download and install uh, and you're able to look and source products, okay? One of the other opportunities in there. All right, I know I'm talking fast, folks. I don't wanna spend all your time this afternoon going through this, but I definitely wanna cover these um, so you understand. And I'll get to some of the questions. I see them coming through. Uh, so I'll address some of those here in just a minute with you guys. So that's kind of Amazon, the ASIN, and some of the things we were talking about on the arbitrage, now some of that can be done on other platforms and stuff uh, like Shopify, we talked about eBay, clearly we've talked about Amazon. Um, Shopify is a very cool product, okay? Now it is not our product, it is a actual company out of New York called Shopify where you're able to um, host an e-commerce store, all right? So you don't need a website, they have a website for you. You don't need to to be able to take credit cards, they take credit cards for you. You don't need to be able to build a shopping cart, they have one for you. You don't need to be able to manage the products. The products are managed in the software. You pay a monthly fee and you're able to put your own web store online, okay? Now with Ecom Jam, you're taught how to do that. You're also taught how to source different types of products from places like AliExpress and other areas. 
You're taught how to build your own e-commerce storefront, how you're able to leverage the amazing power and accessibility of data and ads from Facebook, as well as email, okay? And how you're able to take that together and build yourself an e-commerce empire. So in Ecom GM, you're able to go in and watch over 80 different videos that teach you how to do this from the very beginning to more advanced techniques. There's the beginning videos here that teach you basically how to get started with the power of Shopify and paid traffic. We have a number of different things over here from toolbox to training to different opportunities to help you get discounts on some of this thing as you get up and going, because we know that not you know wanting to start with a lot of capital is you know the second thing people ask us to after they say, what is it that we sell? <laughs> so we have recall that as well. Uh, so there is the Raspberry Jam portion of this. So uh, let's back up real quick. Strawberry Jam does teach you about the Shopify portion, how to get your store online, how to configure it correctly and what it is and how do you get all powered up and ready to start selling your own physical products, okay? You're able to go to Raspberry Jam, which is gonna teach you how to do a lot of the sourcing, okay? Uh, which is gonna teach you, you know, what kind of products, tell, selling products, how to use AliExpress to find decent products you wanna sell. What's a good vendor look like? How do I buy the product for them? Can I even negotiate pricing to make sure I get a good deal? How do I scale this to something that's real? Now you're saying, okay, so what does that mean? Scaling means growing your business, okay? As we call the term scaling. Uh, what, what does that look like? I have people that make part-time income at you know $5,000 a month they take home from their store and they're very happy about that and they're very good. I've got other people that do over a million dollars a month in this model right here, selling physical products on Shopify and running traffic Okay, getting their eyeballs and ads from Facebook. Because there's over two billion people that visit Facebook. <laughs> it's insane, there's so much traffic. And there's so many ways to put your ads in front of people from you know how they buy to what they purchase. And all of you on Facebook should be just a little freaked out about the power we have as marketers to actually target you know you who like dogs uh, who are you know guys in their 30s <laughs> right who maybe live in you know North Carolina um, the power to get right you know that targeted ad right in front of somebody is extremely powerful right uh, so all the all the videos are on here uh, completely to show you from sourcing to modules to the actual ads themselves um, which actually teaches you the power of going in Okay, and a lot of content is in here, folks, a lot of content, and more content is being added all the time. So please don't feel like you're missing you know, content for some reason, because there is a lot. And I really just wanna challenge you to get in and, and, and start consuming this. For those of you who are, who are involved in, in getting this product already from the iPro network, you need to consume it, set down time, be purposeful, you know, put it on your calendar, schedule the time to do it, right? Go through it and really learn it, because it's extremely, extremely powerful. For those of you who think email may be dying, email is still huge, okay? I know marketers who make more from the email follow-ups on their e-commerce stores than they do on the e-commerce stores themselves. So the e-commerce stores become a place, and, and a couple of guys I know do this, uh, to, to lower the cost so they get their ads to get the product purchasing, but then they make a killing on people who buy from the email okay, who follow their product, follow their brand, and want to see the product from them, and are very eager to buy it when it shows up. We teach you how to go all the way through the setup, where to go set it up, how to set it up, best practices to set it up, even a three-day promo formula that's built from you, uh, built from us that you guys can start using that's already proven. We use it in our stores, right? So everything is right here in front of you. And then we got some bonus stuff to talk about some traffic. Some of our good friends here uh, that are experts in their field of scaling and their strategies from advanced conversion tactics to bonus email marketing content with Laura, who's an expert on email marketing and tracking correctly if you do Google traffic, okay, which is Demetrius, okay, fantastic bit of information and expertise in there. And all of that is available in the Ecom Jam for you guys to consume and go rock it, right? So, so much information in there. All right, still with me? Everybody still with me in here? Hopefully you're still with me. <laughs> I'm seeing some comments coming, so it looks like you guys are still in there, all right. So, there's a couple of questions, I'll get to those. Well, actually, let me get to those real quick. Uh, in terms of Blueprint, everybody in the Blueprint is a VIP, okay? So, there was a little bit of, of concern that whether or not you were a VIP or not a VIP, 
uh, because the videos had some language in there. And at the end of the day, everyone who goes and joins Ecom Product Blueprint is a VIP, has access to all the VIP information. If it references your ability to get a lot or products, uh, opportunities that we might have that you could potentially look at, contact the live chat and they'll help you with that. Very simple, okay? So all of that information is in there, definitely. Um, let's see, other questions. ASIN Inspector is coming. I don't know if it's gonna be out this week, but you should see links showing up uh, in your dashboard shortly because we're gonna start uh, putting them into the dashboard in the back office, um, which will make it a lot easier for you guys to get access to those and then get re-access to them when you do it. All right, so the last thing here, um, we talked a little bit about, I'm only gonna touch base on it today because it's it's coming, but it's ePrint Direct, and that is basically being able to do direct mailing, postcards, um, banners, just so much, my mind's going like 100 miles an hour. Uh, there are um, business cards, brochures, flyers, print signs, you know, banners, anything you wanna print. If you've ever, printed on Vistaprint, Moo, Uprint, any of these places, you're familiar with purchasing your printing online. As business owners, a lot of us understand that. We know what the opportunity is, but one thing that's potentially missing here is the execution. Now, when I asked this question at the event, I said, what's the one thing holding everyone up from using printing as a part of their business, as a part of making money, as a part of um opportunity for themselves for their company can any of you guess what that was can anybody guess what the response was what's the thing holding you about about using more printed materials in your in your business in your personal life here it comes cost right cost 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 <laughs> that's what i'm seeing flying in on the and it is it is the cost that is the number one thing so what we have done with eprint direct is we bu we built a vista print okay for ePrint Direct, we have the same printers that they use called trade printers, but we've gone direct, meaning we are able to get the print with no markup. So how does that work? Well, we give you a membership opportunity like a Sam's Club or a Costco wholesale membership. With that membership, you are able to get your printing with zero markup. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that if you wanna print a thousand business cards, you would go to Vistaprint, it cost you $58 at the end of the day, and by the time you actually made it through the shopping cart thinking it was gonna cost you the $9.95 or whatever, you give up when you figure out it's $58, you've been doing it for the last 40 minutes and you're frustrated, so what do you do? You go ahead and buy it anyways. With us, that same 1,000 cards is $9.50 because you're only paying for the cost of those cards front and back, full color, printed and delivered in two days. Anything you get printed can show up in two days or less in the United States and can be used in any of your marketing materials. So for example, if you were to buy 20,000 flyers you wanted to send out to businesses, let me ask you this question, Here, let me go this way. If you could reach 20,000 people interested in this opportunity, iPro network or in your downline, and you could reach 20,000 people, 20,000 businesses, 20,000 contacts, what do you think that might cost you in order to get that done? What do you think that might actually cost? Let's get some numbers back here. What do you think it would take for you to reach 20,000 people that you wanted to present with the offer, whether you're gonna get them to call you or email you or go to a website, you're gonna send them something in the mail of nine by six, a four by a flyer, a something in the mail, a, a you know, survey. I'm getting 10,000, I'm getting, um, hundred dollars, at least 2,500, 5,000, okay? A lot, 25, 5,000, 500. What if it cost you $800? Everybody's <laughs> like, what if it cost you $800 to actually print high quality color? You get to design it. You get to do it from the website. You get to click the button, pick out your zip code, pick out the people, any door direct from the US post office for, comes in about eight cents per flyer and you can ship it right from there, upload your contacts and off you go. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. No, I am not joking. So what would have cost you $3,800 from Vistaprint, cost $800 from ePIN Direct because you're gonna get a membership. The memberships are gonna be opportunities at lifetime. 
So you can basically get print for your business at a lifetime. You can send out it. You can do all kinds of things with ePrint Direct. That's about as much as I want to go there because you guys get the concept. This is a huge thing coming. We're very excited to be able to talk about it um, because it's going to mean a lot to those in the network marketing and even the e-commerce. So getting eyeballs on your offer, as we refer to it, we talked about Facebook traffic, which is one way to get people to view your physical products. But what if, what if you could reach the fastest growing demographic of people who are actually purchasing off print materials, right? So the, the, just to clarify something, that was $800 for one cost at 20,000 flyers, okay? 20,000 printed high quality flyers for 800 bucks. I know it's insane, it's hard to believe, but we'll, we'll tell you about it. So back to the question, what if you could reach 20,000 of those people? What if you could do it in no time whatsoever? That's the opportunity that ePrint Direct is gonna offer. Um, real excited about what it's gonna do. Really excited to share that opportunity with you guys. So this is the suite of e-commerce tools. You can see the variety at any point, any one of these intersect with each other. They are all focused on e-commerce. They can all be scaled from arbitrage beginner status to you know, making $100, $50 in profit for arbitrage products to growing a branded empire of physical private label products you sell, whether you start out on Amazon or whether you do something on the Shopify side. The training is there to give you everything you need to do. You're able to, to get involved in the print side of things. If you want to do print marketing, if you want to get eyeballs on your offer by sending out, you know, your website to a bunch of people who can take a look, right? Because direct mail still converts at between one and one and a half percent. It has for the last 20 years. And that largest demographic I was just talking about is the millennial generation. Okay. Who is into cryptocurrency right now? Who is into alternative who is into you know a little bit outside the box a little bit outside of the you know the way things are running in our country it's the millennials and they are the fastest growing demographic of buyers from print materials i have guys who do nothing but send out print materials to that demographic send them links to their website and uh, they buy t-shirts and other things off their website for the millennial generation and they're doing six figures a month doing that and that's what they do so there is so much information here, guys. I'm, I'm talking really fast. I've been going here pretty quick. I'm gonna slow down uh, here just a little bit and see if I can answer some questions. Uh, Mario, if I missed some questions, man, help me out here so I can make sure I answer you know, things for people here if I'm missing something. Um, yeah, so there's a question about charitable organizations and printing. Yes, we do have discounts. If you prove that you're a 503C, you can get any of the packages for half off. Um, and that we're going to talk with that on the iPro side, you know, I'm going to, we're going to go backwards here for a second on that. And we'll talk about where that's going to come out. I'm going to let the iPro network tell you about that when it's available, but yes, there's opportunities for charitable organizations. Absolutely. Um, where was some of the other questions that we got going on here? Stores from China, manual ask. Yeah. I mean, Stores from China, I think is what you're referring to is, um, are you buying products from, from China? I think that might've been the question. I might be able to answer that. Um, yes, in the, you are buying products from China, uh, but there are uh, ways that we show you in the training to get products from the US, which can ship in only a couple of days, right? Um, but uh, when you're setting the right expectations with customers, I know quite a few uh, people who run e-commerce stores where product is shipped from China. Okay, uh, they do the processing and the quality in China and the product is shipped to their customers. Now the print thing is, is separate, it's coming. Um, yeah, there'll be a recording. If I had a couple of questions in here about recording, yes, there, there's a recording, I hit the recording button. Um, so someone's gonna get the recording. <laughs> we'll make sure it'll be posted. I'm gonna say in the back office somewhere, it's gonna be made available. Uh, don't worry about that. For those who couldn't watch it, there will be a recording. So what I really wanted to do guys here is just get an opportunity to talk uh, a little more in detail about what these are, what they're doing. You know, they're, again, it's e-commerce. And, and if you see these, you see the different ways and the different power e-commerce can be done uh, at whatever scale and capacity you either want to start or grow as an opportunity. Um, we've been very blessed to be a part of the iPro Network venture. I'm very excited to be here uh, and be a part of this with you guys and be able to share this with you today. So I'm not seeing a lot of other questions too specifically here. Some dropping, yeah, there is drop shipping capabilities from the US. That was a question. Absolutely, you'll learn how to do drop shipping 
And then where you source the product from can vary. It can vary from Canada to Mexico to, we, we've done stuff from India, you can do it from China, wherever you source the product from and whatever quality vendor uh, you source it from can come from all over around the world, um, which is very, very cool. So ESN Inspector, uh, if people are asking a little bit more about ESN Inspector. So in essence, it's an aggregate data consumption tool. Okay, it's giving you real time at a glance the uh, products that are currently selling on Amazon. So we were on Amazon. We did a search for dog bones. Okay, and there's like you could do a search for tennis balls. You could do a search for fidget spinners. I mean, you could whatever you think of, right? You can go into the today's deals and just look for product ideas to search on. Okay. So what it's going to do is in this setting where I'm actually looking at what are called the search results. There are a bunch of different products on this page, about 17 usually, 17 to 20, depending upon how Amazon does it. And then as you can see down here, there are over 400 of these pages on Amazon. Now, what does that mean? Opportunity. Don't let that fool you guys, that means opportunity. <laughs> no doubt about it, it means there's a lot of pet supplies being sold on Amazon. So if I want to determine what's a good selling type of product, right? And I'm answering the question that was asked a minute ago about going a little farther with, with ASIN Inspector, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Uh, then I wanna look at the products, I wanna understand what's going on. If I wanna look at the product as a whole, like what I'm looking at here is dog bones, then I clicked the little button right here, and I see all of those products returned right in front of me, just like that, and actually I saw 24 of them return, okay? And what I see there is a difference in selling, I see a difference in the what's called their best selling rank and what it means is the lower you go the more you typically sell on amazon okay so ranks of 10,000 don't sell as much uh, as ranks of 175 in categories okay the closer to zero you go the more people are buying your product um, as you can see here they've got 1890 units estimated per month based on their sales and they're pulling in over 16,000 in revenue gross revenues uh, on this product, okay? Net revenues will obviously be a little bit different um, because you do have to factor in the cost of the product and you do have to figure in the fulfillment by Amazon fees. Now, FBA, fulfillment by Amazon, let me cover that real quick because some of you might not know what that means. Real simply, it means Amazon holds your product in their warehouse, they fulfill it, they handle the customer service, they handle the merchandising, um, they handle the merchandising, they handle the return of the product. Uh, in many instances, they handle the customer, which keeps, you kind of out of it, making it very simple, meaning you can run a lot of Amazon businesses we have with minimal hours of work uh, once they're up and running. Very, very cool stuff. So at a glance, I get all this really great data. So let's say I wanted to look at this product. I can simply come over here in one click. I can pull open based on the title, which sometimes is a lot of data, but I can pull open, okay, chicken products and I can quickly go to what's called alibaba.com which is a sourcing from global products and I can start looking through here and determining is there any opportunities for products that match this particular product that we were looking at right here that I may be able to private label and sell myself right so my own product pretty cool right so that's a lot of data, but the idea is to quickly determine if there are product opportunities. Can I sell a product like it? How much money am I gonna sell you know, or make selling that product? Uh, and the beauty of it is you can run an Amazon shop anywhere in the world and ASIN Inspector can be used anywhere in the world as well uh, in any of the marketplaces that are being sold and you can sell product all over the place, right? Very, very cool stuff. All right. Is it okay to operate from the UK? Absolutely, got students, people, businesses running all over the world. Um, so what the, the beauty of an e-commerce business is you can go anywhere, be anywhere, do anything, right? Uh, let's see. Ah, somebody said, thank you. Tell Katie, we're so proud of her for raising such a good husband. <laughs> thank you very much. I will tell her you said that she will get a kick out of that. Um, so if you have any questions about accessing the product, say you already purchased it, you can go to support, hit the live chat, open a ticket, uh, and the team will be happy to help you um, get that. So if you did purchase and you have issues um, accessing for whatever reason, you know, please contact support and someone in the back office can help you do that, right? Um, if you don't have access, that's probably why, uh, is that it just, for some reason, it may not have, uh, may not be in your back office, right? Um, so, you know, someone's asking how often you get paid. Now, in a in a different type of model, a lot of times in the drop shipping world, James, you're asking about how often do you get paid? Uh, with the beauty of drop shipping, 
is that you get paid first. So I take the money from the customer and then uh, I purchase the product and ship it to the customer. So I'm in charge of the finance, which is really cool. So I get paid up front, then I buy the product and ship it to the customer. I get the cash first. That's one of the best parts about um, doing e-commerce, <laughs> right? Uh, all right, a lot of different questions coming on a lot of different areas. Um, the different pricing structures and stuff is available in the back office. I can't answer all of that because again, I'm not 100% IP uh, pro. I am more of the, of the vendor side here, so I can't answer some of these questions. So forgive me, perhaps they can get answered at another time. Uh, there should be a replay, absolutely, um, depending upon, okay, payment processors, good question. If you're selling on Amazon, Amazon becomes your payment processor. Okay, so if I'm selling this product, uh, let's say this is my brand, when someone comes to purchase, Amazon handles the purchasing for me, uh, ships that product to my customer, and I get a profit from that. They take their fee, and I get paid every two weeks from Amazon direct deposited to my business account. Really relatively simple. <laughs> so the tactics of selling and everything are in there uh, to help teach you guys how to do that. Absolutely. Now, if you're selling on Shopify in BlackBerry Jam, when you learn how to sell with Shopify, they actually have a payment processing built into their platform uh, where you take the money from the customer first, you get paid within a day, it reconciles, and then you, know, you can go ahead and buy your product because you know the money's coming in. Uh, and ship it to your customer. So that's really pretty cool because that's all built into it, right? All right, folks, so I've been going a lot longer than the original 30 minutes because I know there's just so much wonderful information and I've been going 100 miles an hour, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop this for now so it doesn't get to be too long. Uh, hopefully I've answered a lot of your questions. I don't know, Mario, if you got anything else you wanna cover, bro? Um, no, but I'm probably gonna much. stop now before we keep going for another hour. <laughs> Neil, I want to tell you thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I'm sitting here. I'm blown away. I'm getting text messages from people. They are just jaw dropped just watching this information. There comes another one in as we speak. But uh, wow, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to do this. Uh, for those of you guys that are asking, yes, this will be recorded and uh, – we're going to get it over to uh, to the leadership team, and um, I, I would anticipate that probably you'd be able to find it on uh, my IPN HQ uh, soon. But otherwise, with that, everybody, thank you so much. Uh, Neil, thank you again, and everyone have a great day. God bless you.